Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to your daily Wallops weather briefing for Thursday, March 21st. <clears throat> Seeing a abundance of rain out there this morning as well as some a brief low cloudiness. We are going to continue to see these conditions throughout the workday today. Not really expecting much of a break in the rain, so it is going to be a wet day out there. Um, possibly seeing a uh, a very brief break as we go towards the end of the workday, but still going to be uh, some abundant showers around as we go throughout this afternoon and evening. Taking a look at our conditions across the area from yesterday here real quick. We saw temperatures in the uh, mid-50s for most locations. Here at Wallace, we got to a high of 52. Did see some very mild lows across the region this morning due to some uh, southeasterly winds. We did uh, seeing those temperatures are in the mid 40s across most locations here at Wallace. We got to a very mild 48 for a low. Did see already a good amount of rainfall across the region uh, as we went through last night and into this morning, seeing a half an inch across the tidewater here at Wallace, just about a quarter of an inch as of 8 a.m., <clears throat> and seeing anywhere between a couple of tenths to near a third of an inch across most other spots. And then the Langley was the low spot, only receiving. 0.04 inches of rain. Taking a look at our sounding from this morning, did we are seeing some easterly winds at the surface, then southeasterly just above the surface, all the way up through about 12,000 feet. Wind speeds were uh, running 20 knots at 1,000 feet, and then maxing out at 35 knots at 3,000 feet before decreasing to uh, 15 to 20 knots between 12,000 and 16,000 feet. Winds then shifting more southwesterly above there increasing to 47 knots at the 25,000 foot level, seeing a freezing level this morning just below 7,000 feet. Taking a look at our surface analysis here this morning, we are seeing uh, a load off of the Carolina coast. That's going to continue to uh, move northeast and deepen a little bit as we go throughout the day today and into tomorrow. Seeing the rain really uh, max out uh, right now and throughout the rest of the workday, this is a uh, past hour we've probably seen the heaviest rain we are going to see with this event with showers continuing throughout the day today then as we go into tonight that low is going to move north of the area and we're still going to be seeing some uh, low clouds drizzle and perhaps some spotty showers continue as that uh, we get some wraparound moisture behind that low we're also going to be seeing those winds really increase as that low deepens and we get some high pressure starting to build in that's going to increase the pressure gradient throughout the day tomorrow and into saturday giving us some gusty winds so taking a look at our surface map here across the Mid-Atlantic, you see we have that uh, band of moderate to briefly heavy rain that's moving across the Wallops right now. That'll continue to move north across the Delmarva as we go through the next few hours here. Behind there, you can still see there's an abundance of scattered shower activity across the tidewater. That will continue to move north. We're going to see those winds continue to be east-northeasterly this morning. Then as we go towards lunchtime, those will shift more southeasterly. And then tonight, those winds are going to shift uh, southwesterly, then westerly as we get um, that load parting off to the northeast. And that's when we'll see those winds start to increase, mainly after uh, midnight tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. Taking a look at our visible satellite real fast, you can really see um, the center of the low there across the um, just south of the southern portion of the outer banks, you can see really uh, easily spot the center of that low start to move offshore. And you can also see a little bit of clearing associated with that low. That'll start to move up towards us as we go towards the afternoon. Still expected to be uh, cloudy though here and uh, continued scattered showers as we go throughout the rest of the evening and tonight. Then taking a quick look at our short term uh, weather model here. Um, show you how this rain is going to progress. Right now we are seeing um, what is likely going to be the heaviest rain throughout the day today with that uh, band of moderate rain moving across the area. As we go towards noon, that band will shift just north of the Wallops region, impacting the far northern portion of the Delmarva, and then we'll be seeing a uh, scattered shower regime, regime for the rest of the day. And that will continue through about sunset. Then after sunset, looks like the bulk of the rain will be moved uh, we'll be north of the area, and then we're going to just be seeing some lingering low clouds uh, drizzle and uh, still a slight chance of seeing some isolated shower activity throughout the morning hours, with rain likely ending by uh, between uh, 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So taking a look at our forecast charts as we go throughout the day today, we're going to see that low uh, centered over the mid-Atlantic region here. Uh, 
some over the chest peak as we go towards the middle of the day. Then as we go towards tonight, that low is going to deepen a bit. That's going to help to increase those winds from the uh, west as it departs northeast of the area. Still seeing some uh, spotty shower activity due to some wraparound moisture. Then tomorrow morning, it looks like that rain will uh, mostly be out of the area. Still can't rule out an isolated shower uh, through about 8 a.m. tomorrow. And then we're going to get a brief break in the rain as we go towards the late morning and early afternoon hours on Friday. Then Friday afternoon, we are going to be having an additional short wave move across the region. That's going to give us another chance of some scattered showers, possibly seeing some uh, briefly moderate uh, showers at, at that time as well as we're going to have some uh, rather steep lapse rates developing across the Delmarva. <clears throat> we're also going to be seeing tomorrow some... Uh, Gusty winds as that uh, low across the northeast really deepens and we start to get high pressure building into the area. So we can expect some wind gusts of uh, 35 to perhaps 40 miles per hour on Friday. So it's going to be a very windy day. Those winds are going to continue as we go throughout the day on Saturday, uh, mainly in the morning. As high pressure builds in, then as we go into Saturday afternoon and evening, that high pressure will start to settle in across the uh, mid-Atlantic region. That will help to relax those winds as we go into Saturday night. Taking a look at our weather chart for today, we are going to be seeing a high today in the mid-50s, and then uh, temperatures still going to be very mild tonight as we have those uh, gusty southwesterly winds, so only expecting a low of 47 tonight. As you can see, we are going to be looking at uh, near 100% chance of rain throughout much of the workday today. Then we'll start to see those rain showers transition, rain, uh, transition to more scattered showers as we go uh, towards 4 p.m. and into early this evening. Then uh, after about 8 p.m., only expecting some isolated showers and drizzle behind that low as it departs the northeast. But those winds are going to be shifting southwesterly and increasing, uh, especially after midnight and into mid-morning Friday. Taking a look at our terminal forecast for today, going to be seeing uh, those ceilings between about 1,000 to 2,500 feet throughout the morning. And then uh, that's going to continue as we go into the early to mid afternoon afternoon hours as well with those ceilings at uh, near a thousand feet in any uh, moderate to light shower activity. As we go into tonight, as we get uh, those winds shifting more uh, southerly to southwesterly, we're going to start to see some lower clouds develop across the region. Ceilings lowering between 500 to 1,000 feet at times, especially in any isolated shower activity that lingers across the area in the overnight hours. And then uh, by the time we get to mid-morning tomorrow, we'll start to see clouds break up a bit uh, with skies becoming few at 2,500, broken at 4,000, 10,000, and 15,000 feet. Seeing those tides this morning slightly above normal across the Delmarva Atlantic coast. For tomorrow, going to be looking at a mostly cloudy day with uh, scattered showers in the afternoon as we get an additional shortwave passing across the area. Like I mentioned, we're going to see that low really deepen across the northeastern portions of the country with high pressure building in. That's going to help to ramp up those winds, seeing some very gusty winds tomorrow, looking at a high of 58. For Friday night, going to be looking at partly cloudy skies as we get some drier air in. That'll help to uh, clear out those skies even more. Still going to be looking at breezy to, uh, winds with uh, stronger gusts with a low of 35. Then Saturday, it's going to be mostly sunny out there, but still remaining breezy, especially in the uh, first half of the day with gusty winds, looking at a cooler high of 58 as we get some uh, cooler air moving into the region. So taking a look at our seven-day forecast here, going to be looking at uh, fairly seasonable temperatures the next couple days in the mid-50s, um, despite the fact that we're getting that rain today. Uh, rain is going to be uh, <clears throat> the heaviest as we go throughout the rest of the morning hours here, then lightening up a little bit this afternoon, then becoming us isolated to scattered showers tonight. Tomorrow going to be looking at a chance of a lingering shower early with those uh, gusty winds, and then as that short wave move across the area in the afternoon, seeing another round of showers move across the Delmarva. Saturday still looking at breezy winds, uh, mainly in the um, first half of the day, going to be seeing a cooler high of 53, and then by Saturday night that high pressure will begin to settle over the region, giving us some calmer winds and mostly clear skies for a low of 35. On Sunday, we're going to be seeing finally a, a nice day here, looking at that high starting to shift east of the area. That'll help to give a, some, a light southerly flow across the region with the partly cloudy skies and looking at a very seasonable and pleasant high of 60 degrees. So Sunday is going to be a very beautiful day out there. Monday is going to be a, even a little bit nicer as we're going to have um, that south 
Southerly to southwesterly flow increase across the region. That'll bump up those temperatures to the upper 60s. But then we are going to be getting a week um, low passing uh, south of the region um, late Monday into Monday night. So uh, Monday should be dry for most of the day with scattered showers and developing in the late afternoon, evening, and uh, through the overnight hours. And then behind that, we are going to be seeing some cooler air move in once again across the region as we have some cooler high pressure developing across the northeast. And that's going to bring our temperatures back into the upper 40s for Tuesday and Wednesday under partly cloudy skies. That'll do it for your daily weather briefing. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 a.m. and at 10 a.m. Have a great day.